In this video, you're going to learn about a compact yet powerful electric guitar rig for any worship band, the HX Stomp by Line 6. We will be discussing how to quickly get the stomp set up and learn how to create your own patches so it is ready to plug in and play. We will also go over how to buy and download pre-made worship patches to achieve the ultimate worship guitar tone. We will dive into an in-depth demo of the stomp and see how it compares to its big brother, the Line 6 Helix. And finally, we will hear the amazing tones that we can get with this pedal and we will discover why the HX Stomp is a jack of all trades. All of this coming up. My name is Chipper Lloyd with churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Line 6 HX Stomp. The HX Stomp is essentially the little brother to the full-size Line 6 Helix. It has all of the power and capability of the full-size Helix, but is much smaller and compact. I've had the privilege to work with this pedal for the past month or so, and I've been very impressed with its capabilities and how user-friendly it is. It was so easy for me to plug in my guitar, tweak a couple of settings, and have my guitar sound amazing. What sets this pedal apart from any ordinary pedal on the, your pedal board is that it has state-of-the-art amp modeling capabilities. With the direction that modern worship is progressing, more and more churches are having everything run directly into the system instead of having amplifiers on stage or even mic'd up in the back. This allows there to be little to no stage noise, which makes mixing a lot easier for your front of house engineer. This is why amp simulators like the Helix series, the Kemper, and the Strymon Iridium, just to name a few, are revolutionary because they are able to reproduce amazing, authentic amp sounds without actually having to use a real amp. <laughs> Electric players for Hillsong and Bethel obviously have amazing tones, but it's important to note that they use the best amps that are very expensive. 80% of your guitar tone comes from your amp. It's so important to use good amplifiers to help shape and achieve that tone that we all desire to have. Realistically, if you're like me, you don't always have $3,000 to drop on an amazing amp. And so amp modeling pedals like the HX Stomp become a great option to still achieve that great tone. Now I'm going to walk you through just how easy it is to get the HX Stomp set up and ready to play for a Sunday morning. So first, I would start by adding an amp to the third or fourth block in my signal chain. I'm gonna go ahead and go to a new preset here that's completely blank and go from there. So I'm gonna go to the fourth block and bring in an amp. I'm gonna bring in the A30 font. After that, I like to add compression in the first block. And then I'll add my overdrive stages to the second and sometimes third block, depending on how much overdrive I desire for the patch to have. Um, is, would there, could you like speed up that process of me like doing it? Then after that, I like to use the remaining blocks that are available for my modulation, delay, and reverb effects. Once you have built your patch, then you can tweak it to your liking and preference and then save it like so. It's important to note that with the HX Stomp, you only have six blocks to work with, unlike the full-size Line 6 Helix, where you have 32 blocks to work with for your signal chain. Creating your own patches in the Helix is a great option to getting your guitar sounding awesome. And it's also nice to customize and shape your tone into the way you want it to be. Another great option to getting an array of patches ready for Sunday morning is purchasing and downloading patches that are pre-made and already sound amazing. There are a lot of great options available when choosing where to purchase these patches from ours, Worship Tutorials, and David Hislop. You could also head over to the Churchfront store where some patches that I have created specifically for Worship Electric Guitar will be available for purchase. First of all, you're going to want to make sure you download the HX Edit application to your computer. This software is where you're going to be able to control and edit your HX Stomp pedal through USB connection. Once you've purchased and downloaded the patch that you desire, you're going to get a file that looks like this. Once you have this preset patch file, all you have to do is drag it into the HX Edit app 
and load it into a new preset, and then you should be good to go. Whenever I'm buying a new patch, I spend quite a bit of time with it making the adjustments that I need to, so I know it's exactly the way I want it to be. Now I'm going to spend just a few minutes demoing the HX Stomp and allowing you guys to listen to some of the patches that I've created myself. I'm using my Fender Tele Deluxe with humbuckers. I'm running directly into the HX Stomp, into my interface, and into Logic. I'm going to be demoing a few different patches that I've created, a rhythm guitar patch, a lead guitar patch, and then a swell patch that will be available at the church front store for purchase. So now I'm gonna show you the HX Stomp while it's integrated into my pre-existing pedal board. Ideally, this is how I would have my pedal board set up. So I'm running directly into my tuner, and then from my tuner to my JHS Morning Glory into this cheap little vibrato I found. And then from there, I'm running into the HX Stomp, and then I'm running from the HX Stomp to my timeline, and then from my timeline to my, R my RE5. There's a lot of debate on where the HX Stomp should sit in your signal chain on your pedal board but I found that I like it right in the middle. That frees up extra blocks at the end of my signal chain for my digital reverb and my timeline. Really though, I feel like it's based on your preference and whatever you feel like you want for your tone. So now I'm gonna show you the exact same patches I just showed you with the HX Stomp integrated into my pedal board. <laughs> After hearing the tones that can be achieved with the HX Stomp, hopefully now you can see just how amazing this pedal is and how it might be the right option for you in your worship ministry. The HX Stomp is very comparable and can do just about anything the full-size Helix can. The only downside is that you only have six blocks to utilize in your signal chain. The full-size Helix has 32 blocks and more buttons and knobs and foot switches to make it much easier to change your tone on the fly. While the HX Stomp is extremely powerful, I have noticed that you pretty much have to have your tone set the way you want it before starting a song. I found it really hard to pull effects in and out individually when using the HX Stomp, but there is an option to assign different effects in your signal chain to two foot switches. Obviously, there's only three total foot switches on the Stomp, so you would have to pick and choose what effects you would assign to those. For around $600, I don't think that there's a better all-in-one pedal that you can buy. I would argue that the Stomp's amp modeling features alone are worth the buy, not even to mention the amazing effects that come in this pedal. I think ideally this pedal would make a great addition to your already existing pedal board. First and foremost, acting as an amp simulator to sit on your board and then incorporating the effects with the pedals that you already have. For many churches, I think the HX Stomp could be a great option for an all-in-one rig for electric guitar volunteers. It sounds amazing, it's simple to operate, and if all of your guitarists use it, you'll have more consistent sound every week. If you're looking for Helix patches, go ahead and check out the Church Front Store linked below. There you will find new pads, new patches, and new samples that I'm creating each and every week that will be available for your guys' purchase. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share this video with your friends in worship ministry. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos to help you grow yourself and your worship ministry.